Welcome, everyone. It's 54 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona, and the roof is off at the Bank One Ballpark in Phoenix. Welcome, everyone, to the Insight.com Ball. Pittsburgh is the visiting team. They won the toss, and they are set to kick it away with Nick Lotz. It's in the air, and we're underway. The first ever football game here at the Bank One Ballpark. And it's J.J. Moses on the return. And the Cyclones will open up first and ten from their own 18. The starting lineups, Sage Rosenfels lead the fourth best offense in Iowa State history. And the rest of our starting lineups brought to you by Bex. Man to look at is J.J. Moses, all of 5'6", five, 5'7", five, he thinks. But regardless, punts, kickoff, returns, receptions, he is the main man. The Cyclones, the home team in the very attractive red jerseys to go with those red pants. Two receivers bottom of your screen. They send the man, J.J. Moses, in motion, and they hand it off. First play on the ground to Ennis Haywood. He's their standout running back. He picks up a couple on the play. The offensive line for Iowa State, it's a good one, led by Ben Bruns in the middle. They allowed only seven sacks all season, second best in the nation. And that particular, that particular stat is going to be tested by the defensive line of Pittsburgh, spearheaded by Brian Knight, their tremendous pass rusher, over 20 tackles for lost after the three-yard gain by Haywood. Haywood the single setback. Rosenfels on the option pitches it late to Haywood. And he picks up a couple more yards. The linebackers for you for Pittsburgh. Three good ones. Amir Purifoy is the emotional leader of this Panther defense. Going to have to have a lot of run support from the secondary, particularly the man you just saw, Ramon Walker. He is the key. He is the captain out there, the center fielder for the Panthers. For the quarterback, Sage Rosenfels, the 22-year-old senior. Rosenfels drops, looks right, and throws right, and completes... And it'll go for a first down. And the fans in the end zones are particularly excited. That's because there are no nets there to catch anything. But watch this play, Stephen, finish it up after this. The blitz was coming. Bowl, like the bowl game in front of us, a 49-38 to 38 game. That was a tremendous game. Congratulations to Don Nealon in West Virginia. That pass is complete to a wide open J.J. Moses. He's got the first down and more on first down and 10. Two receivers out to the right, and they hand it off to Michael Wagner. Second down and eight. Off play action, they fake the handoff, fake the reverse, and Rosenfels is firing. Ball comes up short. We come back for a third down and eight play, and here's Rosenfels, straight drop, gets pressure, throws across the middle, and it's in and out of the fingertips of J.J. Moses. Returner. But he's doing it now. Here's Carl Gomez in the red to kick it away for Iowa State. And Bryant. Oh! Fumble! Football is loose. There is a flag down as Pittsburgh recovers. Didn't give him enough room, Steve. Non-contact, kick catch interference on the kicking team. Penalties refused. First down. Led by their quarterback. John Turman. Prior to the BC game on October 26th, there was a battle for the starting position, and since then, Turman has been the man. The rest of our Beck starting lineup, backs and receivers. Terrific wide receivers, but don't forget they have a good one in tailback Kevin Barlow, over a thousand yards on the season. Pittsburgh's first play from scrimmage, and they hand it off to Kevin Barlow. The Pittsburgh offensive line, Jeff McCurley, prior to the last game of the regular season, was the starting center. But to give them more depth, they move him to left guard and Chad Reed, McCurley's backup, starts at center. We talk about Reggie Hayward and what a terrific force he is, but the man, Ryan Harclaw, is the man that's going to have to have a terrific game up front to prevent the run. Brings up a second down and four now out of the I formation. hand it off to Barlow again. The linebackers for Iowa State. Stevie Johnson, if that name sounds familiar. A star basketball player on the Iowa State team playing football for the first time since high school. And arguably the most significant matchup that you're going to watch today, number eight, Jamarcus Powers. Iowa State is going to do what they can to get Powers on Bryant. In 22 years, starting all seeds on third down and long, a flat. Can flinch a little ball, bit. I think they start on the offense. Truthfully, Five Steve. yard, still third down. Turman, single setback is Barlow. Two receivers to the left, top of your screen. Here's Terminal throw. 
steps up to the pressure. He's got running room, but not enough running room for the first down, although nonetheless give him grim credit. He can still play. On first down and 10 now. After the favorable spot, Herman's not going to like this spot as he has finally dropped down. Back in Ames now. Second down and 18 after the sock. After the sack, they get the play just off. And he's Terman under some more pressure, running for his life, and he is, takes a hard hit, and the fumbled. football pops loose. Now the official's saying he's down. Something else there had to do with bovine feces. We'll leave that alone. There's the knee. Good call by the official. Both knees are down. Brings up a third and 11. Here's Terman again. Gets some time now. Loves one. He's got him. He's got a man wide open. And it's Bryant. Touchdown. The big play player comes through. A 72-yard touchdown bomb. Terman to Bryant. The very thing that we talked about at the top of the show that they wanted to avoid. And they come on to attempt the extra point. And the extra point is good. Pittsburgh strikes via the big play. 72 yards. Herman to Bryant, 7 nothing Panthers. I have to point out that prior to the season, he didn't know who Fred Lipnikoff was. Lutz puts it in the air, actually slipped down after he kicked it off. So it's a short kick, and J.J. Moses looks to make something out of it. Moses cuts to the outside, and he is out to the first and 10 now for Iowa State. We'll see how they counter. They open with three receivers. And here's Rosenfels. They'll keep it himself. Trying to slant through for a couple of... He said it might be <laughs> basketball, actually. Yeah, he said, I'd like to think football. Of course it is. Swing pass is complete to Moses. Anytime they can get the football into his hands, they will. Even if he's going to fib about his height <laughs> an inch or two. Here's Rosenfels. Option to the right. He'll keep it again and cross midfield, and he's into Pittsburgh territory. This wouldn't count as, a, as an official fumble. but that's not even the case. High snap. Rosenfeld's able to bring it down, and it's Haywood taking off down the right sideline, and he's finally bumped down inside the 30. Two tight ends for Iowa State. Going to get some momentum back on this drive. It's Haywood again, and he has been a big play strike themselves answering back. Get some time off the clock and get into a bit of a rhythm as Haywood is doing just that. Third and short now. Two receivers to the left bottom of your screen. Here's Rosenfels now. Dropping back and throwing. Touch on the ball. Nice Got throw. it. Touchdown. Touchdown to Chris Anthony. And the Cyclones do answer back. Extra point. They're going to fight for the ball in the stands. It's up, it's good, and let's see. <laughs> These footballs are expensive, folks. Iowa State answers right back on a pretty pass play of their own. And we're off to the good 7-7 start. The Cyclones will put it in the air, and Pittsburgh will get another possession. The first one worked out pretty well. 4.42 to play here in the first, tied at 7. Get the official word. Dead ball. Full start on the offense. Five yards. Capital One Bowl Week on ESPN and ESPN2. Hand off off the pitch to the right side. And it's Barlow again for 272 yards. Brings up a second down and 10 now. Got the penalty yardage back. Running for his life is Terman. Third down and 10. Low setback is polite. And that short dump off pass across the middle is complete to return this punt if necessary. And they'll both allow it to bounce. Reason and he was the player that dropped back late with Moses right. trying to help out on returning that punt. Out of the shotgun is Rosenfeld. Plenty of time. That great offensive line. Now firing and completing. And come up on two and a half to play in the first quarter. Shifting, now they're set. Rosenfeld will fake it and hand off on the reverse to Moses. And the spin move by Moses gets him out to the 49-yard line. Haywood, the lone setback. Rosenfeld has him set, now drops back, looking left, and throwing man wide open. It's complete to Lane Danielson. 
without a seam in the zone. Looking to put back-to-back -back scores together after Pittsburgh opened up a 7-0 lead. They just get the playoff. Here's Rosenfeld trying to buy himself some time. Lost one and just too high. But this is what God intended. I was impressed by that. Here's Rosenfels off the handoff, the draw play to Haywood. For number 32, just like his dad wore at Iowa State. All right, Dave, certainly a touching story there. One of the many reasons you can root for Iowa State is Rosenfels takes off and dives ahead for the first down. From, that's right, bank one ball play. No sign of Randy Johnson. Just a lot of Sage Rosenfels so far. He hands it off to the first man through. The first quarter comes to an end. Sage Rosenfels and Iowa State coming right back after Pittsburgh gets scored on a 72-yard bomb. Tied at seven. Three receivers to the left of Sage Rosenfels. And a quick hitter to J.J. Moses who tries to cut it up, and he's very close to another third down and two. Four receivers in for Iowa State. Pittsburgh brings a nickel defense. Now they show blitz. Rosenfels under pressure, got it away, and it's caught. Shy of the goal line, down to the one is Lane Danielson. From scouting combine seat had him ahead of prominent players like Josh Heupel and Chris Winkie. This is first and goal now, handed off to the first man through, and it's Joe Woodley, touchdown for Iowa State. Bad snap, couldn't get it off. And that's not going to work out. So they botched the extra point on uh, New Year's Day night, the Fiesta Ball. This city is football crazy right now as Mike McKnight puts it in the air and Tory Cox will look to return the kick and try to get Pittsburgh a spark, but instead it's Steve Levy and Todd Christensen. Oh, and with Dave Ryan. We will have the call for you on ESPN Radio. <laughs> you can see it on ABC. Big run there by Barlow. And on first down and 10, three receivers to the left of John Turman. Here's Turman, good pass protection, now steps up. Little dump off to Barlow. Loose football, they say no. They say he was already down. There you go, Utah guy. <laughs> All the right. Big 12 takes on the Big East in this one. Turman on the draw. A member of both the collegiate and the professional football halls of fame. Third down and four now. Here's Turner. Quick drop and fires. Who's back there with Moses? And Lee puts it in the air. Nice high spiraling kick. Nearly scraped the roof here at the Bank One ballpark. As J.J. Moses spins out to the 20-yard line. The Insight.com ball coming here from Phoenix, Arizona. Iowa State on the ground again. Come through 2004, averaging reported $600,000 per season. Rosenfeld steps up, now throws, and completes. And the Cyclones are looking wide open. Two receivers to the right. Rosenfels gives it to Haywood on the ground, and he finds some running room and a crack. A lot of moisture on the grass will develop with that roof closed, guys. All right, Dave, thanks. We will watch for that. Passes completed again across the middle to Mike Banks. It's an Iowa State offense that averaged 424 yards per game this season, the fourth best in school history, and Haywood looks to add to that. Davis has been an awful big name in that Iowa State backfield. And now it's Haywood running the show as Rosenfels drops back and throws and completes. Again, to a wide-open receiver. From the shotgun, inside handoff, second and ten. Moses has four catches for 55 yards. He's the man in motion, tiptoeing to the line. And here's Rosenfeld, slipped out and still completes the pass to Haywood out of the backfield. And he's inside the five. Does his knee go down? Now watch him slip and fall. Is his butt down? No, it isn't. Great job by the official. He's hit six passes in a row, and that time before his backside hit the grass. Hands off. Haywood, touchdown. And Iowa State makes it look easy. Steve, with eight minutes remaining in the first half, you don't want to be a doomsayer. Missed the extra point. We'll watch it again. The snap fine, the hold fine that time. And Carl Gomez boots it through. Pittsburgh had a 7-0 lead. And since then, Iowa State has had three possessions, and they've scored touchdowns on all of them.
20 unanswered points by Iowa State. And Pittsburgh will get the ball back. Mike McKnight, short kickoff to Corey Cox. Cox finds a little bit of running room. My whole family, including myself and all of his friends are out here, we're so excited to be here that I haven't really... All I told him, you know... He wouldn't, be, he wouldn't object to replace me if he continues to struggle with Priestley. Here's Terman. Trying to dump it off. And he does to Kevin Barlow, who slips down. Third down and eight. Here's Terman. Getting some pressure from the outside. Terman. He is run down from behind. It's Kevin Duran leaving that. As Andy Lee is set to punt. Nice kick. A nice high spiraling kick. J.J. Moses. Moses is taken down. Illegal formation on the kicking team. Five yards from the previous spot. Replay fourth down. So Andy Lee will try it again. The backup early in the season. He shanks this one. Wow, what a break for Iowa State. The Cyclones looking for more already with a 20 to 7 lead as we come up on six minutes left. It's Haywood carrying the football and then being slammed back down of Pittsburgh in their national title run in 76. And now serves as a special assistant. That pass again, wide open across the middle is Chris Anthony. Too much attention to J.J. Moses, but it must be something. I believe Anthony so wide open across the middle. Here's Ennis Haywood carrying the football down to the 21-yard line. And Pitt getting their eighth win. I would agree. You get the sense from talking to some of their fans who have made the trip as well. What a big deal this is, especially back in Ames. That pass out in the flat is complete to Moses. But I'm just watching my son play now, and that's really awesome. I'm really proud of him. What kind of advice have you had? Along with Cy being an uh, uh, excellent football player, so absolutely, he's doing a heck of a job. Chris Anthony, just go. And it's Anthony turning the corner. A thanks to Jerry Moses for the assist on the play-by-play -play for the touchdown for Iowa State. Gomez on for the extra point. And that is up. That is good. Another souvenir for the crowd. And Iowa State, they're on fire on the field and in the stands. Rosenfels is at nine in a row. Two by this 27 to seven score. With three and a half to play in the first half. Tory Cox from the five for Pittsburgh. And he is out to the 25 yard line. Two receivers to the right. Here's Terman. They'll try the ground game, and it's Kevin Barlow. Barlow trying to turn it up. Was held up momentarily, and now is brought down by a host NFL draft behind only Deuce McAllister and LaDainian Tomlinson. Something to watch for. On second down and four, it's Barlow again. Cuts it up before making it to the corner. Iowa State didn't score on their first possession. Now they've got touchdowns on four consecutive opportunities with the ball. Determined to keep it himself. Now this they come out in the I formation. Determined off play action, rolling to his left and throwing. The intended receiver is Chris Wilson, wide open, and he's across midfield. Three times in the last four years, the Pittsburgh offense has been number one in passing in the Big East. They're going to get that going here. I think Bryant left early. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, five yards. And we'll never Still find out down. for sure. Dominates and has the ball the whole time, scores on four straight possessions. We send Barlow out in motion to the flanker spot. Here's Terman stepping up and firing. It's Bryant, Antonio Bryant, on second and three. Took their time moving down the field. Now they choose to use a timeout and see what kind of play they come back with after that. Terman, the straight drop. got pressure up the middle on his back foot. Throws and completes. Getting anything except possibly a field goal attempt. Terman, three for three on this drive. They get four for four on the short completion. It's Slade again. Again, Brian just two catches so far in this first half, which is 18 seconds left in it. Here's Turbin. Looking to go five for five on this drive, unless he runs, and he does. And he's taken down from behind. But time remaining, 11 seconds. Steve, they've got Brian by himself at the, at the top. That might be where they're looking. Turbin, though, looking left, never even gave Brian a glance. It's Slade in the middle of the field. He fumbled, Steve. He fumbled. 
With two seconds remaining on the clock. He was able to come up yep. with it. The Pittsburgh and Walt players. Harris Slate knows that. It. They got to call timeout. Nick Lotz is on to attempt a 23-yard field goal to make this one a little closer, heading for the locker room at halftime. Somebody got a piece of it, Steve. No good. No good. And it remains 27 to 7. The Iowa State, four touchdowns in a row after that. The Dodge different halftime report with Kristen Rodney, guys. Just about set. Pittsburgh will get the football to open up the second half as Mike McKnight puts it in the air. Another short kickoff, and Torrey Cox takes it from the 12 for the Panthers. And Cox trying to run over some people. He's got it out to the 26. Dave, thank you. We'll watch for that. Two receivers open, bottom of your screen. And they open with John Terman back at quarterback, and he gives it to Kevin Barlow, their star running back. Barlow's averaging 7.1 yards per carry. So on second and two, what else to do but give it to him? And he should have enough about the pass protection against the Pittsburgh defense that had 35 sacks this season to lead the Big East. But now Pittsburgh's on offense. They go off the delayed handoff to Barlow. And he is just shy of the 45. For the they were blown out. He had 68 yards. He was the top rusher on nine carries. And Barlow trying to turn the corner, slips down. Third down and five. You see what the Panthers have done so far this evening. They send Slade in motion. And here's Terman to throw. With plenty of time, steps up, has some running room, and dives ahead and should have enough for the first down. Both won their final two games to get to the Insight.com Bowl. And Iowa State trying to win nine games in a season for the first time since 1906. Barlow is the ball carrier, picks one hole, then chooses another. The turf probably is getting a little moist. 12 carries, 71 yards. They get 13 carries and 73 yards. Well, oh, he's got some he, he's got some claws out there. Third down and three. Dead ball. Illegal snap on the offense. Wow. Five yards. Didn't jump. Still third down. He's a talent. And he can eat whatever he wants to eat whenever he wants. What a luxury that is. Third and eight. Here's Terman under pressure from Hayward now. Steps up and runs. And we'll see where they spot the ball with the fourth and inches. Everybody's in tight on offense and on defense. And Terman will keep it himself. With all these running plays, I'm thinking that how about now? Let's go up top. Herman has run the three first downs tonight. Little shovel pass to Bolo. Bolo's got to block it, and he's got a sideline, one man to beat, and he is just bumped out of bounds, taken out by Dustin Avey, and get the yardage just short of the goal line. First and goal from the two. It's Barlow. He slips down on a second effort, maybe gets back second down and goal. Out of the eye. Option quarterback will keep it and get in. Touchdown. Rod Rutherford checked in at quarterback. The third string quarterback. The second string wide receiver. And it's Rutherford keeping it on the option. Here they remember Steve just before half. And Lotz puts it through with 8-10 to go here in the third. It's 27 to 14. Pittsburgh has had their only touchdowns on their first possession of each half. A long Ooh. time ago. You could stick three, four sheets of paper on the mic. <laughs> and it's put to the sky for the kickoff, and here's J.J. Moses returning it. Moses cuts right into the Pittsburgh defense back on November 24th in the season finale, regular season finale. Couldn't happen to a nicer man, though, to go out a winner. I agree. Handoff. And it's Haywood, the ball carrier for Pittsburgh, 12-play drive. They had one official pass, and that was that little pitch pass. Otherwise, it's all on the ground with Barlow. The pass completed to Craig Campbell. His second catch of the night is posted with seven minutes to play here in the third quarter. They go play action, and the fumble, and the oh, no, my gosh. I'm what serious. a hit. J.J. Moses was, was the ball. pounded by Brian Beinecke. There's nothing like reading a reverse and knowing that the guy is as vulnerable as wow. he is. Wow, that is a collision. 
Out of the shotgun now. Here's Shades Rosenfels rolling to his right and throwing. And the pass up high and caught. What a tremendous catch. The safety blitz. The pass on his back foot wide open. They catch it. No. He, didn't. he did. They said he was out of bounds. Play of the second half is back deep to receive. High spiraling kick. Here's Bryant trying to make something out of nothing. Trying to get around the end and he won't. Turman, quarterback, hands it off to Barlow. And he is wrestled down at the 21. And that man has been Barlow. Second down and three. Turman hands it off. It's Barlow again, coming up on four minutes to play here in the third quarter. Barlow again to the 32-yard line. Second and seven. Here's Turman to throw. Sideline. And it is caught. And it's Barlow. Rather, Green, I beg your pardon. Latif Green averaged 67 catches for 1,000 yards. The all-time leading receiver in Pittsburgh history. Hand off, it's Nick Goins who has checked into the backfield and for the loss. Second down and 12. Sends Slade in motion backfield away. Here's Terman firing. And he was looking for Grimm. A great job, Dave. You were on that right from the beginning as soon as they had closed the roof. On third down and 12, here's Terman firing deep. He's got him. Caught. What a catch down. And the big play specialist, Antonio Bryant, Man. is back in the game. A 44-yard bomb for the touchdown. His second of the game. Magnitude, and he delivers. Bryant with touchdown catch. Casey, Dead ball Casey foul. Baldwin. Ball start. His on name the could be an infamy. He Five is yards. the holder for Iowa Still State. Kind of play. He's already ready for the next level. Here's lots of high snap. The place was good, and the kick is not. So now each team has missed an extra point. Like Moss and Bryant and Jimmy Smith, they want the ball. Look at the running right here. Extends himself. Wow, what a terrific catch. He does a sophomore. So here we go, and Iowa State will have a chance to counter. Jermaine Billups is set to return it. And Billups, neither two programs have had great comebacks under their two respective head coaches the year prior to the new coaches coming in, but not 0-11 for sure. And a hard hit. Rosenfels absorbs that one in a seven-point game. Two tight ends for Iowa State on second down. The handoff to Haywood. Tremendous enthusiasm really here for a, for a neutral site game like most ball games are. On third and one, Rosenfeld tried to keep it and didn't get close. Stopped by Mike White. He makes the big stop there, forcing Carl Gomez into the punt formation. Gets it away, and Antonio Bryant there thinking about another big play in the 25. And he is swarmed on top of. We understand he's a great athlete, and he likes golf now. What's his best sport? It's, it's hard to say. Any sport. Hey, he's having a terrific game. The fourth quarter is next. Let's take me out to the ball game. And we've got a ball game now. As that pass is nearly intercepted there. Third down and seven upcoming. Nick Goings in the backfield. And he stays in the block. Terman in trouble. Dumps it off. Able to complete the pass to Slade. Adam Runk for Iowa State. Good protection for Lee. And the true freshman gets it away. And it's Phillips. Trying the right side. Someone slipped down He's the side. It was He's Phillips. Gone. He's going to He's going to win it. Jermaine Phillips. Touchdown. A 72-yard punt return. Steve, I'm looking on the field. I don't see any flags. Near the end, it looked like it might have been close to the block in the back. But you're right. People slipped down. There was no safety. No punter there. Extra point attempt. For Carl Gomez, it is up, and that one is good. Not a whole lot of one- and two-yard touchdowns in this one. It's been a big play type ball game, as exhibited by Jermaine Phillips. 
72-yard punt return to expand on the Cyclones' lead. You know, getting Phillips out of the state, you know, a performance like this by Iowa State will only help in future recruiting, getting other players out of, out of state. Again, more slipping and falling. Corey Cox now hoping some defenders would slip and fall. They do not in eight years. Here's Pittsburgh on offense now with Turman. And he's going to be brought down. Reggie Hayward, the man to watch for. He's fortunate enough to play in the NFL. Second down and 18 now. Some slain in motion. Here's Turman. Steps up and throws and completes to Grimm, who took a big hit at the 25. That's a shame, Dave. Thanks. We know how important this game was to him and his family. As that pass is completed to Bryant, he's got just enough to slow him down. Four for 139 and two scores for Antonio Bryant. Hand off to Kevin Barlow. And Barlow, stiff arm, leaps over a defender. But a punt return. After the play, a late hit out of bounds on the defense. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Clearly, he hits him out of bounds, but it's not as if it's like there was anything ominous about it. He lays on top, and that's his momentum carrying him out. That's, that's a tough one to call. I know what it is on defense. Here's Terman throwing, completes across the middle to Slade, getting some blockers and using the sideline as his friend. Because I remember the BYU-Utah game, remember they called that on margin hooks in a similar situation. On first and ten, Terman looking for the end zone. And Grimm went up. It was a bit too high. to get to play in another game, the East-West Shrine at Pac Bell near his hometown in San Francisco. They dump it off to Barlow. Gets a block and is knocked out at the 10-yard line. Very well, Steve. And the other team on the ropes, tremendous swings in this one. Pittsburgh looking to put a swing in their favor. Here's Terman across the middle. Wide open is Grimm, and he makes the catch. And slipped down at the 13. It's been a good one. Glad you joined us on ESPN from Phoenix in the Bank One ballpark. Oh. That ball is just overthrown. Look, wanted John Terman to play this entire game, and so far, at this point, it's working out anyway. Here's Terman, plenty of time across the middle. And that was in and out of the hands of Latif Grimm. Third, goal, third and goal from the eight-yard line. Bryant, bottom of your screen. Terman doesn't look that way and is nearly picked off. Great coverage. Nick Lotz is on. He's missed from 23. This is a 25-yarder. Now, if you're 10 of 18 on the season. Sorry to interrupt, Steve. The reason I say this is you're saying, why would you do this? I'll tell you, Mr. Second. Gets it up and away, and it's through. Nick Lotz connects. 34-23 Iowa State. The Cyclones will get the football. And the kick, a short kick to Jermaine Billups. Had a 72-yard punt return for a touchdown. And he won't find as much running room there. I always go with the underdog. So you like Oklahoma? Without a rooting interest, I'll go with Oklahoma. Football is pitched and fumbled, and Pittsburgh says they have it. Look at the Panther assistant coaches. First fumble this season by an Iowa State running back, and it leads to this little swing pass out to Polite from the 16 now. See if Pittsburgh can take advantage of the break. The rare Iowa State fumble. And it's polite again. He's had 16 catches for 118 yards here on first and goal. And they hand it to him again. But he might have juggled the football there inside the five. Between the tackles. This was a 20-point lead for Iowa State at halftime. Pittsburgh looking to really cut into that. And they have. Touchdown for Kevin Barlow. Just made it across the line. His ninth touchdown of the season. And we're an extra point away from having a four-point football game. And here they go for the two-point conversion. Three receivers in. Barlow, the lone setback, they put him in motion. Here's Terman, and the pass is batted down. What a football game this has been. Five-point game with 9.45 to play in the fourth quarter, coming up from Phoenix. Here's Phillips now from the 10. 
And Phillips, Iowa State's only had nine plays from scrimmage this half, not this quarter, this half. There's their tenth. And Rosenfeld's trying to get it going again. He, keep in mind, Iowa State's without one of their two explosive offensive players and J.J. Moses will stand out wide receiver. Here's Rosenfeld. Ross went across the middle. I don't know if that was batted away or not. Word from Dave Ryan down on the sideline is that, in fact, Moses is done for this game, as you would expect. Rosenfels, his pass. Big third down. It's third and ten. Out of the shotgun. That's Sage Rosenfels. On five yards. Third down. Well, protecting the lead has to be a little bit different. Yep, absolutely. Pittsburgh's coming with a blitz. Bringing some people. They buy Rosenfeld's time. He should have man-to-man -man coverage. He does. he does. And completed pass there to Montgomery. First and ten across midfield at the 44 of Pittsburgh. Eight and a half to go in the fourth. Rosenfeld's lost one. There's some contact down there. Second down and ten after the incompletion. Rosenfels firing high and tipped down. Here's third and ten now. Rosenfels think he's changing the play at the line of scrimmage. The blitz and here they come. They buy him some time and the pass is knocked away. Tremendous defensive coverage. A good coverage play there. Here's Carl Gomez to kick it away. And Antonio Bryant, signal for the fair cap to see where it bounces. Great effort. And it's what a great effort. For Iowa State. Doug Dinsmore was smart enough to run past the fair catch and set. Because he's a younger guy, very easy to relate to. It belongs to the receiving team at that spot. First down. The idea is there's a lot of field to defend here. A lot more field to defend. It makes the throws easier. Terman is throwing. And it was behind the Iowa State crowd. The chance of defense trying to protect this five-point lead. Turning deep in the end zone. Throws and hits Krim. He's down at the 10-yard line. Walt Harris said this season's been rolling seven the hard way. Seven being the victory total, looking for eight. They hand it off to Barlow. He's got the first down. I think Downey's out on that offensive line. Looks like he tried to run into the game, but the coach has held him. Dead sure. ball foul. Full start on the offense. Five yards. Manganello, I believe, now is at left tackle. On first and 15. Here's Turner with time. Loft one. Sideline. And it is incomplete. Good double coverage there. A great story, number 27. When they get the playoff, they just do barely. Little shovel pass. It's batted away, and they say it'll go over an incomplete. Oh, on that last exchange, they're looking at him now. They're going to retape him. Should be able to return to the game. All right, David, it's getting late. Here's Turman under pressure. Gets rid of it as he was drilled to the turf. Jermaine Phillips. He can give Iowa State great field position. And a good job by this Insight.com bowl. Get this place filled up and juice with excitement. Rosenfeld is completing down the sideline at Craig Campbell. Looking for their first bowl championship trophy. They've got a five-point lead at six and a half to play. From the 30, they go back to the ground. And is Haywood. He's very cognizant of what it takes for the running game to be effective. Four wide receivers. Rosenfeld picks one and fires complete. It's Craig Campbell. As Rosenfeld barks the signals. Like they might have changed the play. Some pressure Listen up again. the middle. Rosenfeld dumps it off and could not connect with Haywood. He took over as the place kicker as well. That's why he's only attempted eight field goals. This will be from 41. And the kick is up, and it is... Good. I tell you, he pushed that one a long way back. That would have been good from 51. Great snap and an excellent hold that time. We've got to give credit where credit is due. Casey Baldwin, the holder, was able to get the laces away quickly. And the result is now that Pittsburgh, even though there might have been a little bit more, more comfortable with a five-point lead, the result now is it's eight for Iowa State. McKnight puts it in the air. Tory Cox will look to get a return. 
from the nine. Here's Cox. Bumps into some tacklers, would be tacklers, and bangs ahead for some extra yardage. Except for themselves was to beat a ranked team. They went 0 3 against those in the top 25. That pass from Terman is incomplete. Second most in the Big East against only seven interceptions. A phenomenal ratio as he hands off to Barlow, who's taken down for a loss 0 and 4 in previous full action. Third and 11 now. Here's Terman. Doesn't feel the pressure, throws and completes for the first down. Bryant, five catches, 155 yards, and the two scores, 72 and 44-yard touchdowns. They get that off. You saw the zero on the play clock. Here's Terman. It's a deep corner. Throws a good the middle, and it was a fly ball. The center fielder, Mark Timmons, made the play. Antonio Bryant. It was steep, but again, you got to jump in the middle of that. Even if it's offensive interference, you don't want to pick. Draw play for Iowa State in their first ever football game here at the Bank One Ballpark. <laughs> Rosenfeld completes the swing pass. This is the Insight.com ball with two and a half to play in the fourth quarter. Iowa State leading Pittsburgh 37 to 29 in search of their first ever full win. Rosenfeld will complete another pass. Craig Campbell on the receiving end. Second and two. Under two minutes to play. And a handoff. They were trying to make something out of that. They were able to watch Iowa State for their first ever bowl game. Rosenfels will hand off to Haywood. Teams that haven't been there for so long to start off slowly. They did anything but that. Quarterback of Iowa State, Sage Rosenfeld has had himself a fine game. Two rising programs meeting here. Only one come away with a victory. Rosenfeld will take one last hit, and there is the bath for Dan McCarney. Congratulations to Coach McCarney, the Iowa State Cyclones, and all of their faithful, their first ever bowl championship victory. They win the Insight.com Bowl, 37-29 over Pittsburgh.